Hey everyone, welcome back to episode 2 of Mendix How To's. I'm your host, Ryan Mocky, and today we're looking at string handling. Let's jump in and get building. To join two strings together, you can use the plus operator. This also works when joining number data types with a string variable. Here we start by appending an integer, the number 4, with the word kilometers. We can use to uppercase or to lowercase to change the text to your desired case. Length is a good way to find out how long your string variable is. This can be handy when determining positions in substrings. Pay attention to how the variables change as I step through the microflow using the debugger. Substrings can be hard, even for experienced developers. Here, using the string Beware the Error, I will do a substring with a start and end position. Next, I use the same string, but this time I only give it a start position. Finally, the last substring has both a start and stop position. But what happens when we exceed the total length of the string? By debugging this, we can see how the date changes. You can see on the final activity, the debugger disconnects and we find an error lock in the console. We have exceeded the total length of the substring and encounter a string index out of bounds exception. Remember to always test a substring and use error handling wherever possible. But string handling can also be used to make your app safe. Ismatch is good for validating data, often with regular expressions. Here I use a regular expression with ismatch to make sure a string only contains lowercase characters. Starts with or contains are also great for validating data. Here we use them on an exclusive split but they can also be used to search for data when using XPath on database retrieves. From appending strings together to extracting information using substrings. String handling can be a useful tool, but it can also be challenging. It can be anything from concatenating two strings together or extracting information from one string to be used somewhere else. It can be a useful tool in your app development, but it can cause real issues when done incorrectly. There's still a whole lot more to learn, with more functions and more ways to use them. But for now, that's all we have time for. Bye for now, thanks for watching.